Welcome to the narrowboat that James built. This is project 58, a narrowboat that I am renovating and I wasn't planning in taking it all apart but after seeing it after its transportation down here and after investigating a few parts of it I had to take it all apart. So it's been emptied and in the process of taking the flooring and the ceiling down and it's time to look at layout. The main difference between this boat and slow patrol is the fact that this is two exits and entrances. Um, obviously it's longer and better and newer and stuff, but main difference in terms of layout is both entrances. So what I need to do is make use of both of that. Now, interestingly, here at the bow, if I can show you this without falling to my death. Okay, so on Rob's boat, most people, well, we only go in on the bow. Um, but his bow is a lot, his well deck is a lot longer than this. And as a result of which, that bit there continues straight and then it bows in here right at the front. On this boat, you'll see, I really don't want to fall. That's where it's kind of the straight bit ends. So if, the, if I'm banked up, the canal, the bank's going to continue along there. Yeah. So to stand onto here easily, well, it's not going to be easy. Well, it's fine for kind of adults and stuff, but for kids, less so. That is where the land's gonna be, and that is therefore the landing point. Not particularly easy. And then likewise, compare that to the stern of the boat. You'll see the curve coming in really starts after the entry point. This bit here is still pretty square with the land. Land's going that way still, that's where it is. So for access, obviously, that is the best place, certainly for kids, because bank will be right there, much easier. Same on that side, obviously. So this is gonna be the main way into the boat for the kids. So even though the kids and me as a family will be coming in mostly through the stern entrance, I do want this to be quite a nice space. The well deck is a lovely place to spend some time and obviously I haven't had a well deck before so we're always on it on Rob's. It's a lovely place so I'm going to want to kind of make definitely good use of that. The other thing is here, there's no windows up to here which I think is, what's that, two metres in? There's no windows. Um, that's very saloony. So it's also a little bit bedroom like, not having any windows in, the, in a boat but that is definitely saloon. Um, the most important thing I need on this boat, as I said before, is two bedrooms. That is the main reason why I needed to upgrade Slow Patrol, because Slow Patrol have got a bedroom and a dinette. So when the kids were all small, it was kind of okay. Um, but now they're getting bigger, uh, they, they need more space. So I've got to have two bedrooms and therefore I need three sleeping areas. So dinette, bedroom one and bedroom two. So um, in this area, kind of from here, sternwards, Oh, aft, I need to create two bedrooms and a bathroom. Okay, so this being the main way into the boat, um, certainly for me and all the kids, this needs to be a generous way in, okay? But it also needs to be one of the bedrooms because you don't want to have a bathroom as soon as you walk in because this is going to house other things like electrics, Vitus controls, I don't know, um, mooring pins, windlasses, all that kind of stuff is going to be in here. So you don't want any of that in your bathroom. And also when I'm navigating or cruising and I've got the kids and stuff, I'd want them to be somewhere safe inside the boat where I can kind of easily get to them or whatever. So that will be, this is why this needs to be a bedroom and not a bathroom. Um, so if I've got all five kids or whatever, whoever's coming in, coming down here, all right, so you've got, the hatch that comes over, well, it's got a toilet on it at the moment, so I can't really move that. But the hatch comes over, you come straight down. At the moment, you come into a bed, which, you know, I'm not going to have that. But it's really not generous at all. I mean, it's really kind of cramped and stuff. And, you know, that's fine. You've got to make the best use of space on boats. But these, but this boat has been designed with the beds going fore aft, and I'm going to design it going side to side. Rob's has all been done side to side. It is so much better in terms of saving space. If you have two beds, if you've only got one bed, it might not make much difference. But if you've got two beds, they're six foot long that way and four foot wide. 
you can get the six foot long that way and the four foot wide that way. So in terms of length of the boat, you're taking up eight foot in terms of width instead of 12 foot. So it's an extra four foot. And if you were to put that four foot here as an entrance or in the bedroom or in the bathroom, we'll put it wherever, but that's four foot. Um, the other thing I've noticed in slow patrol is that the kids don't tend to lie on the bed in that way. They kind of use it as a sofa. So if this was like that way, that would be much better. Um, the other thing for this room is it needs to be basically a room for multiple purposes. So yes, it needs to be a double bedroom, but it also needs to be a dumping ground for wet clothes and crap. It needs to be somewhere where I can store a calorifier. It needs to be some. It needs to be somewhere where I can store mooring pins and all that kind of rubbish. So it, yeah, it needs to be loads of storage. It also needs to be generous. It needs to be kind of a nice opening and entrance to the boat. This then needs to be the bathroom. Now I'm thinking if let's say. I had a guest on for the weekend, uh, not in that way, but like someone like Ava, right? Or she might spend a few weeks on board or whatever, right? My eldest. If I had the bathroom here and a door going this way, she could basically have the bathroom, her room and her own entrance and exit, right? Kind of, that's a decent space for her. And then I've got the bathroom, my room, and then everything else that way. So I can just get out of my room, walk up there, and she's and that's fine. And she can be in there, kind of, you know, as a teenager would be, just sleeping. Um, same if I had the twins or the girls or whatever, they can be, you know, it's kind of a bit further away from the saloon where, you know, I would be. So this needs to be a bathroom. So I walk out of the wet room, there'll be a sliding door, so I'm gonna have them all like that, into my bedroom. So the bed will be, this is really dark part of it. The bed will be there, right? And then hydraulic key things bringing it up. Rob's have got hydraulics, his are electric. Hold a button, you see the bottom of the base of the bed go up. It takes forever. Um, so I think I'll just do normal hydraulics. But this will be the bedroom, right? A bit of storage, bit of that, that's fine. It's just a bed, that's it. Um, some cupboards up above and things like that. Walkway all the way through. So you're starting to see corridor then this will be kitchen and dinette. Now, on slow patrol, the kitchen is tiny. Uh, it's fine if it's just me, but if I'm catering for the kids, I've got nowhere to put anything. I like the plates and stuff, I'm just balancing stuff and everything. So I need more space in the galley. And therefore, um, we really have to start thinking about how the dinette and the saloon fit together because the galley um, needs to be of a certain size. So in terms of dinette and saloon, this is another, well, this is another <coughs> space saving idea. Basically, make a bloody brilliant dinette. Um, so good, so comfortable that is the lounge and what I'm thinking is to make an American style proper dinette so a big curve in there round there and a big curve out again table in the middle obviously reduce it down and then you can use that as a bed so that's going to be the kind of way I'm thinking at the moment obviously I'm not going to make it I'm going to get hang on you're on the angle there aren't you Obviously, I'm not gonna make it. Um, I'm gonna get someone to do that. And then nice, generous staircase going out onto the world deck. Happy day. So yes, lounge, stroke dinette, not having both makes it in my head much better because I don't have to think, right, all I'm gonna be left with is like a three foot lounge. It's like, no, I'll just have a 15 foot lounge dinette. Happy days. TV on the, uh, under, the, under the thing there, so in front of the dinette. Um, then this will be it. This will be a, like a really nice, comfortable space. So um, I am now on the lookout for someone that can make me a dinette. Um, I've looked at a few places and stuff, and it's quite a big, I want it in one cushion. The whole curved thing 
needs to be one. I've looked at some on eBay to like actually buy a proper American dinette, but it costs a sodding fortune and it's too big, so I can't do that. But to make one, so I just got to find someone to do that basically and get it all going nicely upholstered, then that would be good. Um, but that's kind of my thinking behind the layout at the moment. I have a picture. I was going to do it on the white thing, but I forgot it all on Slow Patrol. Here we go. I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't read. Really. Yeah, so, what are we here? Right. Walk in there. Multifunction space there. Bathroom there. Bedroom there. Another wall there. Kitchen there. Dinette there. Stove there. Out you go. I'd like to have some suggestions or feedback on that, so leave your comments below. Um, but, um, as I said, it is about designing the layout suitable to your needs. And I think this is the best way to go about it. See you next time. Cheers for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.